Hey guys and gals, I thought about making this video. Uh, I wanted to out. I really was tempted to out this game company, this game news company, like some other people did, but I decided not to. Uh, I just don't want too much drama. But um, this video is a little late after the subject, but I thought I'd record on it because, you know. This involves my favorite hobby, my favorite industry, and whatnot, and uh, uh, and that is that. I guess there was some backlash about Call of the New Call of Duty game because it looks so real. Uh, I think that's great, um, but let me just say this. I mean. Regardless of how people felt, it is shocking. I remember when I played uh, Battlefield One, I was a little shocked to see you know realistic people getting killed. And I mean, they look real, they acted real. I think they're using real character movements more often these days, so they actually look real when they die or they fall or get stabbed and. You know, I'm sure there's other games where it looks real and stuff like that. The Call of Duty game really, in a sense, sets the bar. I mean, you know, it's, someone's going to get there. Someone's, someone's going to make the game that becomes real. It becomes real for, you know, anyone playing it, anyone watching it. And just another reason why people should especially parents pay attention to that ESRB on the back that low rating system that we have you know but uh, I mean besides the fact that people were you know, turned off by it or a little disturbed by it uh, like I said I came late in this generation that's fine uh, better late than never but I mean still things you know they're disturbing at first even though they're not quite real they look real. Everything's starting to look real. Faces and bodies and things are starting to look real. Modern Warfare is just simply raising that bar. It's going and it's showing a thing that people are not used to seeing. It's this disturbing level of realism. And not only does it give you an idea of what people have to go through, you know, who have to fight against this type of thing. But, you know, also the fact that uh, my main point is that things are just getting more realistic. Things are just, they're evolving. I mean, back when we were kids, you know, it was the eight, you know, the bit error, like, as they call it, you know. They, they knew that people didn't understand technical specs, so they gave them something they could understand, you know. Bits. Everybody remembers 8-bit, 62, and 32, and 64. Um, I'm sorry, I think I, I said 62, I meant 16. But, um, you know, they knew, they knew the bits. And, that, and that's generally what happened, you know. And each time something came out, it almost just seemed even more realistic. Even though when I was born, uh, not long before the Nintendo came out, you know, I remember watching, I can't remember what show it was, but like, you know, systems that came out before me, like the ColecoVision and uh, the television, things like that. You know, the kid on the show was like, hey, this, these graphics look great, they look realistic. And immediately I shot back to my childhood because I remember thinking, you know, that's what we used to say, you know. We, you know, I used to be like, hey, you don't want 8 bit, you want 16 bit. You know, and it was like, well, you don't want 16-bit anymore, you want 32-bit, and, and so on. And each each generation came around, and we all said, hey, those graphics are awesome. We used to think, you can't get any better, you can't get any better. Well, it, it is. It's getting more realistic. It's getting better. I mean, look at the games now. You can see the skin tone on people's face, the wrinkles, and the expressions, the, the the moisture in their eyes, you know, 
know, they, they just look real. As time goes by, you know, it's just, I hate to say it, but as things get more violent, you get more desensitized to it. And, uh, you know, it, it's the reality of the fact, but that's also why I make the, the argument that gamers aren't, you know, excuse me here, that games aren't for kids. And even though everyone says that, that's why I always say they aren't. A lot of times they're geared toward mature audiences. Well, that leaves kids out. As most, you know, some of you probably know, the median um, age for gaming is like 30, 35. So, I mean, you figure you're out, you got your job, you got your money. You know? but that's for another discussion. Um, uh, but I'm just here to say, as much as I'd really like to row on that certain game news company for being PC and complaining about the game because I don't want anyone ruining our beloved gaming industry. I was going to complain about this and complain about that and start reading into things too much, uh, but um, it's just a testimony to how how good and how advanced our our industry, my and not just mine, but you know millions of people in the, in the United States and across the world. It's just a, a testament to how much it's growing, how much it's getting real. So, I mean, what are your thoughts? Uh, what are your, you know, concerns? Um, I know I, I would be lying to you if I, if I didn't say that, you know, there was some violence there, but like I said, uh, I'm not saying that ties people to violence. I'm just saying that, you know, as a parent, not sure if I particularly like my kids seeing that kind of thing, but, yeah, you know, I mean, see a lot of parents there with the kids, so I know I'm one of the only few that feel that way. I know I'm not the only one, but, but um, you know, if you want to comment, I'd like to hear your thoughts and concerns, and, you know, uh, yeah, I don't care if you want to say that, you know, it's getting worse. It doesn't matter to me. Or you know, one of those people that think violence makes violent kids. Whatever. I don't care. But um, I just wanted to make this video for you know just a testament to how you know I'm gonna make a few following up after this. How video games are advancing. All right. Well, this is Al, and you guys have a great day. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe on my videos. And have a nice day.